A topic that is quite popular within the Jibri community is which vehicle is better, the Chiron or the Roadster? And so today we're going to be going over this topic and we're going to be comparing each vehicle to see which one is truly better. The main reason we're doing this is because the Chiron was actually just recently revamped so the stats might be a little bit different and it might not be the same as it was in the previous video so yeah we gotta compare it again I guess. So yeah let's not waste any more time and let's get straight into this. So let's go ahead and start with the Roadster here. So the Roadster costs about 600k and the top speed is around 215 miles per hour. It may change if you're going downhill or uphill, I don't really know. And while the Roadster here is mainly a cop team vehicle, it's not really that good for the criminal team, mainly because of the different perks. You guys will see here in a second what I'm meaning by that. So the Roadster has a top speed of about 215 miles per hour, like I said, and the acceleration is probably the second best in the entire game and as a police officer good acceleration is probably going to be the most popular and most helpful thing for your team that's mainly because as a police officer when you're chasing people good acceleration allows you to quickly catch up to people when you hit something or something like that and it's really really helpful for that type of stuff while if you're on the police team and you don't have good acceleration it'll be really really hard to get back on your feet after you like crash into something you fling or something bad like that happens to your vehicle while you're chasing someone but not only is it pretty good in terms of stats for the police team but it also has a few other things like it seats two people it's only about 600k like i said which is pretty good for the stats that it has i'm not too sure if i mentioned this but the handling remains really really good at all speeds like most vehicles tend to get really stiff at high speeds the roadster does not do that which is very very nice the model isn't really the best, it's probably one of the models in the game that should be getting a revamp sometime within the next few months, maybe this year, I'm not too sure, but you know, it's kind of simple, it's not too advanced like most of the models in the game nowadays. But yeah, overall, it's a pretty good vehicle, it's not something you'd really use on the criminal team because obviously, as I said, it's mainly a police team vehicle because of the acceleration and the lower top speed to make up for it. Because obviously, if you had a vehicle with the second best acceleration in the game and it also went 300 miles per hour like some other cars then that wouldn't really be too good for the balancing of the game so you gotta have some sort of trade-off there to balance it so yeah roadster pretty good vehicle it's just mainly for the police team now on to the chiron here so the chiron here costs about 600k just like the roadster and the top speed is about 320 miles per hour yeah you heard me right 320 it's probably one of the fastest vehicles in the game so that right there alone is probably one of the best things you you could ever have in a vehicle it's one of the fastest vehicles in the game and the acceleration is still really really good obviously it's not the same as the roadster because you know it would then be the same thing you know you can't have that but even though the acceleration is a little bit worse that doesn't mean that it's still not really really good it's still really really fast and it's still really good for the price and the different stats on the vehicle and basically the story with the eclair or the chiron here is basically the same as the roadster it's mainly a vehicle designed for a certain team which in this case is the criminal team as a police officer the chiron i don't usually find it too useful because as i said before acceleration is key on the police team because you're always hitting things and chases and stuff and the acceleration is very very helpful and on the criminal team what really matters is top speed acceleration is still very helpful of course but what matters more is top speed because that allows you to outrun police officers much much easier but obviously just like the roadster and pretty much any other vehicle in the game there is a little bit of a trade-off there is a downside for all of the perks like the handling is kind of mid at top speed which wasn't a thing on the road Roadster, so you know some balancing right there but something that is pretty good about the Chiron as well is the model was just recently revamped I'll put a picture of the old one and the new one on the screen I might not even need to put a picture of the new one because you guys see it in the background footage honestly the new Chiron model is really really good I like it a lot more compared to the old one the old one just felt kind of old in my opinion you know it, it's been there since 2020 so it was a well-deserved revamp in my opinion and a lot of other people think the same as well just just like the Roadster, it also seats about two people, which is kind of disappointing. It would be really, really helpful for these vehicles to seat more people, but obviously, since the stats are really, really good, you gotta have some sort of trade-off, like I said, and that, in this case, is the seats. 
But still, the Chiron is also a very, very good vehicle, but as I said, it's kind of one of those vehicles that are good only in certain situations, depending on which team you're on. But now in this moment in the video, some of you guys that play both teams in the game might be thinking, well, super, which vehicle should I get first? And even if you don't play both teams, you might be asking, well, which one should I get first? Because, you know, that's a good question. Which one should you get first? And well, it kind of depends what you're looking for. If you're looking for something with good acceleration, but so, you know, not so good top speed then go for the roadster but if you're looking for the opposite then go for the chiron i'll make sure to take a picture of what i've written down for this video on the screen so you guys can see what i've used to compare in this video in case you guys want to just compare it for yourself and see which one you want to buy first but yeah honestly it's just mostly up to you you can make the decision for yourself but you know if you really want me to decide for you i'd probably go for the chiron because for me it just has more uses that's just me though it might be different for you i'm not too sure but yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. We've compared which vehicles are better, and honestly, it's mostly up to you which one do you want more because the stats are quite different. They're completely different vehicles, so make sure to let me know down below in the comments what you guys think. And yeah, with that, that's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully you've all enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next one.